Hello, I thought I would do a flip through of my 2019 December Daily Traveller's Notebook. Um, it's at that time of year where everyone's now preparing for December Daily this year, so I thought I'd do a little video, give you a run through of what a Traveller's Notebook one is like. I did one um, in 2018 as well, so I'll link that below. So this is my Traveller's Notebook. It's got a cover on it, which is made out of acetate with just some small, I don't know, they're like stars and snowflakes. I've got a charm on here, which was made by my friend Claire. It's got a little ribbon, we've got a Christmas tree, some little Christmas lights, some bells and a key, Santa, it's really cute. Little snowflake, love that. Um, we've got a ribbon to hold it together with a brad just here, which holds it in place. Probably got a bit of glare off the front of this that will be solved in a second and um, this is the front cover of the traveler's notebook so it was a plain brown traveler's notebook from hobbycraft i believe what i did was i deconstructed it i pulled the staples out pulled the whole thing apart so it was easier to work with i've got a bramble fox perspective on the front i did some um mixed media stenciling with the vicky Bootin like silver glaze some sequins on here some little pearls and of course a little bit of trim which i put on with hot glue gum the first page has a big stamp which is from one canoe two and i just wrote up the um dates this is from hobbycraft these little gingerbread men are from hobbycraft day one we've got l studio day stickers um, I've tried to use lots of Instax pictures in here as well, mixed in with ones that I've printed. Um, we've got some lots of textures, like got a bit of cork. I made some pocket pages to go in um, with a bit of pom-pom trim. I used my fuse tool and put sequins in there. Got Hello December. And I stuck one on the other side as well. Um, I've used glittery doilies. Uh, we've got washi tape on the background, some wood veneers, another little day sticker on there. This background is washi tape from the Pebbles Merry Days, I think. Um, I printed off small photos. This side I used a stencil with a blending tool and some red ink. And these are uh, CVS an old CVS collection these stickers come from. I used a bit of tissue paper on the background with some snowflake sequins. I've got another pocket, I've uh, got a couple of photos, made a little shaker pocket on the top and just a filler card there. A bit of paper, some um, chipboard. Just some little alphabet stickers from one of the American Crafts sticker books. I used this page protector and put some 2x2 two two photos in and some like wood veneers, some sequins. Same obviously on the back. Some of the days I didn't particularly do anything, so I just used like if I'd spoken to my friends on FaceTime like silly pictures like this where we all got like a filter on we included them because I just think they're funny to look back on a bit more tissue paper on the back um, this is a embossing card that we um, did with obviously this gold card and it looks amazing it looks like a literal bar of gold it's so cool this is one of the things from the product play with Ali Edwards so it's like 10 things. So I managed to incorporate it into a traveler's notebook. We've got a little mini envelope. And what I did was I put the, um, the photo of the Christmas cards that we sent out, just put that in there. We've got another bit of the product play, which I included in. Big numbers. This was a little door 
on December the 13th, it was Christmas jumper day. So I work from home. So I took these photos of myself and my dog dressed up and my advent calendar actually had this on the door. So it was like perfect. So I stuck that in. I've got a tag here that I've included with a photo of me and my husband and then of a Christmas market that we went to on the other side. I've got a photo of my dog and cat dressed up for Christmas. My cat hated every second of it, but it had to be done and it will be done again this year. Again, we've got a nice cake, a festive bakewell and a cup of tea. We went to a Christmas tree farm, so we took some photos from that. Quite simple, I just did some more of the ink blending through a stencil of some snowflakes. Used some um, Christmas paper as well. This was the first time my niece and nephew went to visit Santa and my nephew hated every moment of it. So I've included photos that were sent to me. I wasn't there at that point, but I just included it because my sister-in-law had sent it to me. I've got a photo of my friend flying home to be with us and obviously her family for Christmas. So I included that because I didn't do anything that day. So that was quite handy to include. This tag was from a present from a friend and she had embossed it. So I decided to include that because I really liked it. This is my little niece dressed in her first little Christmas outfit. Um, again, I wasn't there, that was sent to me, so I thought it would be nice to include that because obviously she was so little. This is the day my kitten turned six months old. So I did some more of the ink through a stencil. This is him sat watching me whilst I was in the bath. We have a Christmas party every year with friends. So um, everyone wore a Christmas jumper. I did, well, me and my husband did a big spread of food. Um, this is my friend. So this is another December daily product play um, thing, like with a wreath, it opens up. And this is an ornament that I was given from my friend, this friend here. Um, we've got some tags, a bit of string, puffy stickers. And we've got the Christmas tree picture a bit chipboard. I've got another um, page protector in here so this has a nice big tag in it which I now can't get back in shouldn't have moved it. I sealed the gingerbread men in the bottom the tag just has the story of um, what we did on Christmas Eve so me and my friend always take funny selfies so we included them and then we've got Christmas Day a key for Santa our kitten with his new toy, our dog with his stocking. Um, we've got another page protector in here, which I've put some pom-pom trim on and a 25th of December um, wood veneer. Just a little collage of pictures from the day. An embossed piece of vellum that says season's greetings. Then Boxing Day, we went to my grandparents. So I've included some pictures from that day as well. Um, we went to Costa Coffee, so I got an extra cup and I cut it up. And on a tag, I have put a photo of our drinks. Nothing on the back. Didn't really need to write much about it. My husband had a latte, I had a hot chocolate. Same thing every time we go. A little story of how my cat and my dog um, both managed to eat half a tub of butter and the aftermath of that, which was disgusting. On the 30th, I went for my afternoon tea for my friend's 30th birthday, so I've included pictures of that. I've got another page protector here with 30 on it, and I, um, on the cricket, I cut out a teapot and I put a photo of us behind it. There's a tag and more photos. So when you flip it over, on the 30th of December, we were, I went to afternoon tea, so I had afternoon tea twice in a row with a different friend. So we do London trips every year and we go for afternoon tea. So what I did is I included more photos in the little pocket and then a tag which was explaining like what we did and a bit of hidden journaling. And get it back in. Then some more photos from that day 
And then the final picture for Chris, um, New Year's Eve is a picture of my cat with his new squirrel toy with catnip and him going crazy. A um, bit more trim. And then on the back cover we have this amazing snowflake embossed vellum and it had a bit of a dodgy line going through the middle so I put this really nice um, gold glittery washi tape with a gingerbread man and then annoyingly my vellum got folded but once it's like tied up you can't notice it so it's fine so it's quite a chunky album but I, I really love it and I think it looks really good and it's just a nice way to remember everything that happened in December so I hope you enjoyed watching it and if you've got any questions please let me know in the comments if you're making a December daily this year or you've done one last year let me know um, just let me know if you've got a video I'll go and have a look and yeah I hope this has given you a bit of inspiration to try out a traveler's notebook and hope you enjoyed the video so i'll see you soon thank you for watching